all right YouTube and Fallout community. So yesterday I actually missed a bit of news for Fallout 4, and it's an update for the creation kit for the Xbox One. And I, I don't know how I missed it, but let's get right into it. I'll read over the article as always. Today's creation kit update adds the ability to optimize textures for Xbox One. If your ex if your mod contains textures, all you need to do is rebuild your mod archives and re-upload your Xbox One mod to Bethesda.net. The update does require a new redistributable for Visual C++ 2015. To properly install the new redistributable, you can uninstall, then reinstall the Creation Kit into Bethesda.net launcher. You can also download it directly here. Note, CreationKit.ini will get reset when you reinstall the Creation Kit. We recommend using CreationKitCustom.ini for your custom settings. Xbox One Texture Support Prior to this update, mods use PC textures on Xbox One. With help with Microsoft, the Creation Kit is now able to post-process textures optimally for the Xbox One for improved performance. Optimal textures are now placed in separate texture archive. We will be reaching out to top modders with Xbox One mods that have textures, reminding them to update their mods with the new Creation Kit. So this is pretty much for people who make mods and things like that, and are putting mods onto Bethesda.net. But the main reason why I wanted to make the video, guys, is because right here at the end, they actually give us a little bit of a window date for the PS4 mod like release. It says right here, PS, uh, PS4 support in the Creation Kit is actively in the development and coming as early as next week. Please wait for the proper Creation Kit update to start uploading PS4 mods to Bethesda.net. So, a lot of people have been wondering when we're getting PS4 mods, uh, it could be as early as next week. And next week could mean, this, was, this uh, was put up yesterday, so next week could be Monday, could be Tuesday, you know, it could be, it's any time next week for them, and typically Bethesda releases things earlier in the week. So, be on the lookout for that, not guaranteeing we're getting it, but we might. Later, guys.